Well, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hyde for all you new people here. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I have a fresh new folded zine ready and waiting for today's cryptid. Today I want to do the chupacabra. So let's get a notepad out and we'll write down all the things that I think I know about the chupacabra. The first hurdle. We have to figure out how to spell chupacabra. I think it's chupa, like, like suck, <laughs> because chupon is like a little binky for a baby. And then cabra, I think it means goat. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know Spanish. We're gonna do brainstorming first. So um, it's the goat sucker. What's another thing? Oh, it's lizard-like, right? With spines. People think it's a dog with mange. Ooh, it's from... Uh-oh. I wanna say, like... Costa Rica or Brazil? I know it's not Mexico. Let's, let's recenter. We'll go back to what we know. Ooh, theories are that it's an escaped, um, ly lycopene? No. What's the word for it? T Tasmanian tiger. I don't remember what it's called. Lysine? The theory on this one is that a Tasmanian tiger that was in a traveling zoo, and they say that the Tasmanian tiger escaped and was, um terrorizing and thriving basically attacks livestock Ooh, was captured so people think that it's captured and there is a taxidermied one i think in texas i don't remember oh i don't know the origins i never had an idea of where the origins would be okay i think we have some good ideas Let's get started on the zine. We're gonna start the zine by numbering the pages. Now this one is actually, I did it with the very neat folding technique so that the edges come out better. You can't really tell on camera, but I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> I don't really know where the chubacabra is i'm gonna assume it's probably like high desert and probably in a place that has a lot of livestock so uh how are we gonna do this <laughs> so let's just start with the words first and we'll go from there so first we're gonna do things i know about the chupacabra. Oof. I got scared in the center here, so we'll fix that a little bit. That looks a little better, I think. Alright, now we're gonna have to draw the chupacabra in my style. So, I have drawn one before in the past, and it actually turned out really cute, and I like it, so I'm gonna do that. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Mm. We're gonna have to check. Let me go get my iPad, I'll be right back. Oh, I gave him ears. I gave him big old ears. That's this guy. All right, but I do love him. I like his shapes and stuff, so. <laughs> I mean, although this one's still cute, I guess, but this one makes more sense. Uh, that one makes more sense. So. so, while I do this with reference, which is nice, um, let me explain the premise of this series. I'm sure you've seen just by my 
struggle with spelling the series, the zine series that I'm making of different cryptids has rules. I am going off of all of my previous knowledge when cryptids were one of my special interests. I am not allowed to do any research for these. I just have to pull from my previous knowledge. I am not allowed to look up spelling just because I am terrible at spelling and it's good to keep my my brain sharp. I guess that's it. That's the rules. No, no research and no looking spelling up and stuff. It's fun to learn and it's especially fun to learn after the fact, after I've done a fully rendered eight page zine. <laughs> All right, so that's the Chupacabra and that's the title. So let's see if we can add some things. I think I want to do like a fence post. Maybe with a couple of derpy looking goats. And we'll do like some, I guess, barbed wire. Not really livestock friendly, right? But, and then we'll continue this this way. We'll put a, probably not in the center, that would look ugly. Um, put a fence post. Ooh. Kind of here and off center a little bit. Also, we'll put a moon up here. Um, I'm doing the title page and the end page at the same time because I like to bleed them together. So we'll do a moon up here. For some reason, I always think of like the New Mexico like uh, steps, you know? Is that, is it steps or like the red rock, you know? I think that'll be maybe good enough. Maybe I'll throw some like a gradient in here. Now we're gonna go with the disclaimer, which is a lot of writing, so bear with me. I have an idea. I have an idea. I kind of want to make it really cute, so I have an idea. I can remember how this goes. It's funny. Okay. Well, uh, we'll have to live with it. We're gonna live with it. And I don't know what I want for the disclaimer yet, but I'll just wing it and throw it together. The origin theory about it being escaped an escaped Tasmanian tiger is my favorite theory. I have only heard it in one place before and I'm pretty sure it was TikTok. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. Um I mean obviously look at the disclaimer but that's I'm I'm saying this with 30% confidence that this is an actual theory, but I want to include it because it's fun. I only look up places, like the names of places for spelling, just so I don't offend anybody. So we're going to do Tasmanian real quick. Uh, I think this needs to be fixed, so I think that'll be better so it doesn't look like bean. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely not going to fit. Okay, let's try again. Cool. That's right. I kind of want to do like really cheesy stripies on the tiger word, but oh. we'll hold off on that. Okay. I like this page. Okay, so the first row is done. Let's flip it around to the next side. So let's go to page four. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I get to write goat sucker. 
<laughs> I still hate bubble letter Y's, man. So bad at them. Yeah, that's way worse, I think. <laughs> Can we just all agree that Y's are like some of the ugliest letters? That's a little better, but totally not my style. But we'll just continue with it. I kind of want to have like little dots. Like where it sucked the blood. Page five is the characteristic, so we get to do another little buddy here. So exciting. So we're going to have the reference up. I don't know what design gods uh, blessed me that day, but when I made this design, it turned out very nice. I do enjoy it. I love him. <laughs> So I want to have a cute little doggy sitting here. Hmm, that makes me sad. Oh, that almost fit. That was almost cool. Darn it. <laughs> Hope you spell mange this way. <laughs> I mean, it also fit pretty nicely in there though, so that's cool. And I'm gonna do this just because it'll be cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, and the last page is attack livestock. I kind of want it to be like in the dark and just have like its eyes showing and its fangs. And then, like, a cow just... I don't know how to draw a cow. Let's probably scrap that idea. I'm gonna say the tax only livestock, because that's all I've ever heard of. Like, it hasn't... Like, for the chupacabra, I've never seen a, a report of a chupacabra attacking, like, a domestic animal, other than the livestock animals. I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> Yay! Did it! Okay. Now to figure out how to make this look fun. Mm. What if we do the posts again? So let's do another sheep. Just do a bunch of sheep. And then we'll just do a bunch of ears sticking out. I love it. <laughs> this is a little cute. A cute little gremlin just sitting on the fence, drooling over the sheeps. I'm telling you, if I could get one as a pet, I would totally have one as a pet. They're so cute. Okay. So this is the sketch. I'm going to add more texture in here probably. I don't know what yet. But we have the completed sketch for this scene. And I think I love it. So now I am going to color it. But first, let's pick out our color palette. OK. <clears throat> let's grab our trusty uh, what are these called? Colored pencils. <laughs> nice. A swatch page and let's get in to the color palette. I'm kind of stoked for this because uh, green is one of my favorite colors. So let's see what we could do for this. The reference that I'm using, I used a lime green, a medium green, and a dark green. 
and then a little gray and red. So I'm not sure if I like this color palette. It's kind of meh to me, but we'll see what else we can do. So obviously we're going to have a green. So let's get a green in there. Probably a couple greens to... This green's kind of cool. It's a little light for me. This one's kind of dark, so I think this one will be a nice shading color, maybe? I don't think I want to keep this color. I got, like, apple green? Maybe... It's kind of too dark or too muted, I guess. What's this one? Spring green. Almost as light as the other one. Green. And then we have chartreuse super bright, which I think will be fun for this part. Don't start coloring. I want a shading color. I think I want to go with like a peacock. So it has a little blue in there. Yeah, that's good. I kind of want like a cream color or maybe like a gray color. This might be cool, but I want a color for the words so it's not too much green. I'm wondering if I should go with like, if I should go towards the purple or the red. I kind of want to go towards the red. Oh no. <laughs> Let's go with like an orangey red maybe. But I definitely want a red going on in here somewhere. But like a muted red or like a blood red. That's burgundy, and I've chose burgundy multiple times by accident, so we might need to go with burgundy. You're gonna be a maybe off screen a little bit. Magenta. Lighter magenta? See. Kinda like the magenta. Okay, let's get color in.
the final zine so i'll just go through it things i know about the chupacabra and there's my cute little chupacabra i really like his design disclaimer no research has been done to make this zine all information has been remembered or made up by myself none of this is in is fact or even spelled correctly love hide theorized to be an escaped Tasmanian tiger from a traveling zoo. Literally translates to goat sucker because it so sucks the blood of goats. Described as a lizard-like creature with big fangs and long spikes. Might be a dog with mange. <laughs> Attacks only livestock. And that's it. And that's the end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this zine making journey. If you have any ideas for other cryptids that you would like to see, please leave a comment down below. And remember, I cannot do research for these. So if it's something that I don't know, I'm probably just going to make it up. Or if you would like me to do research for one of your suggestions, leave it in the comments with your suggestion and I will see what I can do. I hope you have a super awesome day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.